Good morning everyone, my name is Paul. I work for a company in Cape Town called Micrographics and we are an Autodesk partner. I'd like to discuss quickly the labeling of materials in a section view or in the elevation. Materials are quite complex when you learn how to set them up for yourself and quite often you would like to be able to paint some material onto a surface. You can do that with the paint command. You'll find it under the modify tab. There's a paint command and whichever materials you've got loaded into your project you'll be able to paint onto a surface. Quite often it's uh, popular for interior designers to paint interior walls with different colors. And we would like to see what that looks like now. This would normally be paint. Right. And if you go to an interior elevation, onto an elevation or a section, you'd like to be able to label those. In addition to that, we've got another tool which is called Split Face. This is quite often used. You can split the face of some of the wall and include some of the profile that you would like to paint in a different material. And then you can paint that material onto that face. <coughs> Inside of any material, you'll find an interesting attribute on the identity asset which is called the keynote. Keynotes are customizable and basically with keynotes you'll be able to uh, browse and find amongst your keynotes the finishing that you'd like. So let's suppose that copper material represents some of the wallpaper. You can say it's wallpaper like that. It has a code and it's got a description. And that's embedded within the material as a keynote. It's one way to get the information out. The other information that you can get out is the type or the name rather so the name of this material is copper and the description is copper matte finish okay. when we want to label these materials we need a material label an easy way to get that done I've looked at the modern template or the 2024 template and I couldn't find a material tag is to tag something else. In this case I'm just going to tag a wall. Of course if we're in a 3D view we'd have to just lock the view orientation and then we'll be able to tag a wall. And the idea would then be to transform this wall tag into a material tag that can tell us information about that wall. So we would edit the family. And we would have a look at, firstly, the family category to which the tag belongs you will find that there exists a material tag. So if you can't find a material tag, then you make a material tag. And you make the material tag by using an existing tag and switching out the family category. And once you do that, the label that you can edit now has 
the fields from materials or material tags that you can add to the information in the tag. I'm going to add the name and I'm also going to add the description. And I'm going to put a break between the lines. And then I'm going to make sure that this name tag is wide enough to display the information that we'd like. We would then save that tag. as a material tag. I've already done that earlier, but we'll do it again. Let's call it material tag R2, revision 2. <coughs> and then we'd load that into the project. If we now tag and annotate, you'll see that you can set the tags. You should find materials. There's no materials to be assigned. And there you can see you've got your material tag. The type we can choose now, R2, standard. And we can hook it up to our material. That now shows us the material name and description as we have asked. And you can also add a material keynote, which is going to pick up It's just a straight up keynote, sorry. Strange, let's just see why it's not picking that up. Let's quickly have a look at the materials and the copper. We did put a keynote onto that. For some other reason, in the 3D, it won't take it. Let's have a look at an east elevation. And let's see if we can tag that with our. Material keynote. Ah, oh, I see it's picking up the... I think the keynote was incorrectly assigned to the material. The keynote, we want that to be surface finish, paint, uh, let's go for coating materials, decorative, decorative wood stain, Gloss paint. Let's use that. Okay. Apply. Okay, now you can see it comes through as gloss paint. Should also pick that up in the 3D view. And if you had customized that, it would show up like that. And the nice thing about the keynotes. with the materials keynote sometimes <coughs> if you edit that you can also say on a visibility parameter if which part of that keynote do you want to see so if you had a new type there's standard I'll just say new value and new text And that visibility now controls the labels which are mapped onto those parameters. And if we override the existing, 
then you will be able to switch out the type to show as either just the value or just the text or as standard both of them together and of course you can create keynote schedules and filter them by sheet once you've placed these onto the sheet so that's a short description of how you can label your materials in a log 3D elevation section and hopefully that helps you describe to whoever is responsible for adding those finishes to the walls what they are supposed to do until next time, enjoy Revit.